Philippines, Walang Magma Move On. Eh, maybe. All right, but I, I wanted to take one more look at this because, as we all know, this is going to be sort of like the third in the series of Michelle D. getting disrespected. One of the things that happened was I promised that I would read some comments, but the comments kept coming so quickly. And so I wasn't able to, to catch up. And there's almost 4,000 comments. And I think it's a, a, the, the video is sitting at about 512,000. That's over half a million. So, and you guys did that. I just simply was not able to, to um, catch up on all of the comments and respond to every single comment. But I did promise you this particular video. As we all know, this is a mess. Can we just say that right now? This is a hot mess, okay? And as we know, we do have investors that are talking about taking over the pageant. We do have people that are talking about buying uh, the Miss Universe pageant. And so, because a lot happened this year that was negative. And so, in, in, and even Michelle D um, said that she felt uncomfortable. And so, with all of that that's happening, I wanted to read some of the comments that were sent to me. I did promise you that I would do that, so I, I will try to be a man of my word. And so, um, a lot of you are saying, "Let's move on, let's move on," and and I'm I'm kind of I kind of agree with you, but I always want to keep my word. I said I was going to do this video, so really, it's it's just to say, one, thank you guys for uh, checking out the video. It's because of you that we're almost at 19,000 subscribers. And so thank you. Thank you so much for, um, you know, enjoying and, and subscribing uh, what we do here. So let, let's just read a few comments and then I'll, I'll make a general statement. So here, here's, here's one comment. It said, I feel sorry not only for MMD, but also for the former Miss Universe, Arbany Gabriel. You can see how the organization failed to put her in the spotlight she deserved. She's the least popular Miss Universe uh, winner. Despite being very vocal about her advocacy for sustainable fashion, the organization did little after her win. It was just the owner stealing the spotlight wherever Miss Universe wa was. Worse still, Arbany was blamed for losing sponsors and interest when we all know it's because of the new rules and ownership of Miss Universe. And I can tell you, I absolutely 100% agree with that particular video. I mean, with that particular comment. The spotlight was not on Arbany Gabriel. There was, the spotlight was, as you can tell, on the pageant owner. And as, and I agree with you that Arbany, I don't think, uh, everything that, that Arbany should have been able to do, should have been able to accomplish, I don't think she was, I don't think she was able to. As far as the sponsors, again, you are totally correct. With, with this new bidding system, um, you know, for, for Miss Universe, for the rights to Miss Universe, a lot of people are saying, no, we're, we're not going to do that. And so they, so they got out. So let me, let me just pan down. I'm just panning down very, very, very quickly. Um, it says, Michelle D is a true representation of beauty and class, a Filipina at its best. Totally agree with you on that because she handled the situation, as you can tell, like a beauty queen, like a real queen should. And so uh, I totally agree with you on that. I've watched a lot of reaction videos about Michelle D. It's already a win thinking that there are so many people, not only in the Philippines, but also other countries that trust and believe in Michelle. Thank you for your effort in expressing your thoughts about all of these, sir. And uh, to that person, let me say thank you so much. Um, I know that my content tends to be Filipino centric, but I at least want to be honest with you in my thoughts. And, and some people have already said that they disagree with what I said and I shouldn't say those things. Um, but at least, you know, I want to be honest. Um, so thank you for that comment. And I, I again, I agree with you on that. Uh, this comment says MMD is real gold. I so okay. Wait a minute. This one is in in Tagalog. I'm gonna have to get my friend to help me translate this one. So I'm sorry. I, I don't want to butcher the language. So I'm gonna skip <laughs> skip over that one. Oh wait a minute. Uh, uh, no, I won't. It says we are over a hundred million Filipinos loved you, MMD. You're truly our queen. That point I will agree with. Thank you for thank you, sir, for standing up for us Filipino. Mabuhay, kaka. Oh, um, kaka papa me. Uh, uh oh, pa, familia. Okay. Ooh, I think I read that wrong. But anyway, um, I just want to say you are certainly welcome. Walang, walang No, that's that's right. Uh, okay. Ooh, I'm 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 sorry. I know a few words in, in in Tagalog. So, but again, thank you so much for those for that comment. 
Um, this one says, thank you, sir, for promoting respect, equality, and fairness. That's what I try to do. Again, even though I know that I'm Filipino-centric, uh, the Filipino people have always treated me well, but I at least want to be honest. Let me, just a couple of more, and because I don't want the video to be too terribly long. This one says, thank you, brother, for standing up for what is right. This man, uh-oh, this man in woman's clothing must be investigated and prosecuted. He is upset because he does not have what MMD have because he is a biological male. Posted from Los Angeles, California. Cool. And so um, I, th I think... I think I have to agree with you because it seems like the pageant owner wants all of the attention to be to be um, him, her, whatever, whatever you want to say. OK, the, 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 the he wants she wants all of the attention. OK, so and I just don't think that that's good for the organization. Look at what we're doing right now. Instead of talking about Miss Nicaragua, who is the current Miss Universe 2023, we're still talking about an incident where where we have somebody here that has won, that won four of the awards and still got several awards once she got back to the Philippines. We are still talking about that. We're talking about the national director for Miss Universe Nicaragua not being able to enter the country. That's the stuff that we're talking about. We're not talking about, we're not saying, congratulations, Miss Nicaragua, Shanice Palacios, you are the queen. That's not even what we're talking about. And why are we not talking about it? Because we're talking about this. This is a mess. This is ridiculous. Because most of us believe Michelle D should have been the queen anyway. But anyway, I just put that. I just threw it in there. Now, before we go on any further, let me take. Let me. And, and I. I said this in the video, but I want to reiterate one single point right here. If you look at this, notice right here how the pageant owner has the hand around Michelle D's arm. It's almost forcibly telling her to move. But in true graceful fashion, look at this right here. Not only does she smile the whole time, she doesn't say a word. And even at the end of this, you'll see she does like this to show her thanks. That's a true queen. And I don't care what anybody, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody tells me. Had that been me, uh, we would have been fighting. Let's just take that. You, what, you, I, what you grabbing my arm for? See, but that's me. You know, because sometimes, you know, I'll get a little agitated. Not the queen. But see, I'm not a queen either. So, but but this right here, I love that she smiled. Michelle D smiled the whole time. So when I read comments like this, like this, one, it says, um, don't disrespect Miss Philippines. Show some respect for our queen. That And it's in all caps. That's. That's kind of what I, I kind of the general thing, you know, saying thank you to me, of course. And then, you know, don't disrespect Michelle D, of course. And so, but that, but that's the general consensus. It's not, it, it was just simply how Michelle D was treated. Because as you know, nobody should be treated like that. I, I And I, and I totally agree. Let me just keep going because I, I'll get started talking about this because there's really no need for it. Again, if you're trying to make this an inclusive event for all women, you certainly don't treat them like this. So this one says, thank you, sir. Mabuhai, Michelle D. And walanga numang, my friend. And uh, thank you so much for your comment. People wonder why Michelle D did not make to the top five when she already won three awards. The fact that she also won the fan votes which means she was the favorite of viewers in the YouTube world. I think there is no reason why she will not be on the top five. Indeed, <laughs> indeed, it was a cooking show. Uh, Miss Universe Contest is a cooking show. The whole world witnesses. And for those of you that are not Filipino, because I do have some friends of mine um, that watch my channel, a cooking show just means it was rigged. That That's what it means. So uh, the whole world witnesses. it. I, I think people... We're saying the same thing because when you win the popular vote, that means the people either bought votes or whatever, because I know for a fact that I know how much I spent, but I know for a fact that other people bought votes. You know, it, it, it helps uh, uh, Michelle D. Well, it helped Michelle D to get in the top 10, but but she got the fan vote. So why wasn't she at least in the top five? It makes no sense to me. But so so, you know. 
Thank you for sharing your thoughts about our culture. A Filipino from New Jersey. All right, that's what I like. That's what I like to. That's what I like to hear. Hear from. Uh, see, thank you for loving our queen. You are welcome. Let me see. So someone put yes in capital letters. Your words just hit the nail on the head. Thank you very much. Glad you agree. Thank you, sir, for this for the sympathy and concern to the Filipino people around Miss Universe. Uh, uh, to uh, okay, people. people. Our Miss Universe has been robbed. Okay, there was no punctuation, so I read it as a run-on sentence, so that's my bad. Let me just read one more, and then and then I will uh, bring this video to a close. The owner was saying, move on, because Filipino and even other international pageant fans were calling her out for MMD's exclusion from the top five. Totally agree with you there. MMD deserved a spot in the top five. She won three special awards. At that time, she did, but she ended up winning winning another one. She performed. She did it all. Of course, MMD's fans were upset, but to literally drag MMD, use her for clout, and then tell people to move on just shows that the owner has just as much class as the owner of MGI. Oh, Miss Grand International. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, see, we all know. Ooh. It seems like now, now, this is something y'all might have to help me understand. What is it with Thai pageant owners and Filipinos? Hmm. Um, uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, that's that's something interesting to me. I, I and I'm I'm I, I, that was one comment that slipped by me. But that is that is so very true. Is there some sort of history there? Uh, maybe some of you, some of you that are a little bit you know better at this than I am, that that can clue me in as to why it seems. Like they don't like the Philippines. In the case of uh, Miss Grand International, though, with Nikki Demura, I've already watched my video on that. And some people dragged me in the mud for what I said that it was going to be hard for Nikki to move forward because of what she did. As it turns out, I was right on that. But the way that he treated her was he was it warranted? I'm going to let you guys decide that. But in this case. Oh, no, we already know it was not warranted. Let me read one more last comment. <laughs> okay, so it says, so true. I love this video. Oh, thank you to that. And then it says, uh, thank you for supporting the Philippines. And uh, the next one says, thanks for doing this for Miss D. We're grateful for you. And I tell you what, I'm grateful for all of you, um, the subscribers, and also to all, all of my Filipino fans that are not only in the Philippines, but also all over the world. We've been getting comments from everybody. So simply just want to say thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, if you like our content, continue to subscribe and, and like our content. Appreciate it. This is Isaac. I'm out.